Okay, hey guys, I'm on my second day in Philadelphia. This is my friend Matthew. Hello. He's from Malaysia as well, but currently working and staying here. And yeah, I didn't really vlog yesterday after uh, I touched down in Philadelphia. I was just too tired. Um, you know, 8 hours transit, 15 hours flight. I really have no energy to stay optimist and positive. And he's pretty tired as well. He, was, he just came back from work. So yeah, I didn't really vlog. Uh, we had, I had Chipotle for dinner first time. And I never really even know what Chipotle is. It's only recently I found out that it's actually Latin American burrito or something like that. So it's not really Latin American. It's Americanized Mexican fast food. Yeah, I, I could tell the difference because in Colombia I had like real Latin American food. It's less flavorful as compared to Chipotle. Uh, but I think tomorrow is they were having Taco Bell. Today, today oh, we'll have Taco Bell. That's like an iconic food. Apparently, and I got I got a lot of mixed reactions when I tell people that oh I should try Taco Bell. Like some people was like oh yeah it's uh, American food, sort of. And then some were like it's a waste of time, waste of money to even go for it. But anyway, uh, what are we doing now? So right now we're going to walk to the Reading Terminal Market, which is uh, it's a popular market, indoor market here in Philadelphia. That, you know, I didn't even know it's an indoor market. Yeah, it's an indoor market and people from all walks of life visit tourists, locals, and you can find a lot of good food, a lot of good and if you are if you are foreign and you're here visiting, this is where you get souvenirs. Okay, so we'll just take a look and then we'll see you then I guess. touring the market um, there was a lot of people there so I couldn't really do like a proper vlog it was just too crowded it's Saturday right now so um, this is a lot of people you know in addition to myself moving the camera now it's not camera around it's not very convenient um, we did get like donuts so Baylor's apparently it's very famous in Philadelphia so I did there's a long queue so I did uh, try it the dough is definitely very soft it's very soft it's very fluffy um, I kind of prefer the donut without any icing on top because I'm not really into sweets. Um, right now we are in Matthew's um, workplace. He's need to do a bit of work because he'll be taking the whole week off for me uh, so that we can go out together next week. So he just needs to do something before he heads out for his holiday. So overall so far Philadelphia has been pretty nice, pretty treating me pretty well. Um, it definitely reminds me a lot of things you watch in Hollywood movies because um, like I said, American is just very, you know, the Hollywood is just everywhere, the movies, the TV series, I do watch them. So, 
um, a lot of the things you see here it reminds me of things I've watched. So that's that's pretty interesting. We're gonna maybe take a walk somewhere, then go snack a little bit, and we shall see what else is there to experience. What do you think of your first bite of Taco Bell? It's not bad. Like, I mean, this is a hard shell, right? I know the actual taco is a soft shell. I don't think this is the right shell in the first place. But, I don't think it's bad. Like, I will eat it, like, if they have it in Malaysia, I will eat, I will order it, and maybe have it for lunch. Dr. Pepper, which we don't have it in Malaysia. Oh. It tastes, to me, um, it tastes like cough syrup. It does taste like cough syrup, but in a good way. Like, it's like herbal, not herbal, but it's like honey sweet. I have never heard someone describe Dr. Pepper as a herbal drink. Oh. Except you just blindsided me a little bit. He's over here right now. 
we are chilling in a little simple coffee shop and he, well, when I came to Philadelphia, he just like dropped this bomb on me saying that uh, we're visiting, visiting what again? The Eastern State Penitentiary. Yeah, it's actually it's a haunted house. It's, it's, it's this, not a haunted house. It's this, this little thingy area. Apparently it's a haunted house and I don't do haunted things. I don't, I don't, I don't play horror games, I don't watch horror movies. I definitely have not visited a haunted house for a very long time. I've organized a haunted house before. A very successful one too. But I do not do horror so I'm not particularly excited about it. <laughs> uh, so the Eastern State Penitentiary, it used to be, it's an old jail. In October, they put up a haunted house. And I think it's a smart idea to to make use of the jail or the space. We're just done with that haunted house or whatever you call it. It's, the name is too long to even like recite it. Yeah, whatever. I, I still hate it. I still do not like it. So we are blocking the path. Apparently there's a food truck here or something. Uh, I still dislike it. I never like horror stuff. I mean, it wasn't... Obviously, it wasn't as scary as I thought. I tend to over-exaggerate my thoughts, my paranoia in my head. So it did turn out a little bit less scary than expected, but I was definitely did not enjoy it. <laughs> I just don't do horror things. Like don't ever do that to me ever again. We just got back to the apartment from that horrible haunted house. To be fair, it's actually not too bad, I guess. Uh, if you're into haunted house, uh, like October haunted house or something. But anyway, we just on the way back we got cheese steaks, Philly cheese steaks. It's actually really big. I don't think I can finish it all. I didn't even get the the original uh, cheese stick because I don't actually take beef so I had the chicken version um, this was very recommended this is like the first thing in every to-do list in Philadelphia and when I asked like a craft I remember I talking to a crafting mantis and uh, was it a uh, uh, DB I'm not so sure who was it uh, I was just asked, telling them like oh I'm going to uh, Philadelphia what do you recommend the first thing everyone said was was this so this is it it's a little messy. Um, I don't think I can finish this <laughs> at all. Maybe, like, like I said, I'll give this to one of the guys, or we can save it for breakfast tomorrow because we are going to New York tomorrow early in the morning. Um, we'll see how it tastes. Hopefully, it's pretty good. I mean, hopefully, it lives up to the hype. Um, it's not bad. It's pretty good. I'm, never, I'm not really a top who likes like a lot of meat food, like very meat based food. Um, but this is okay because it's very loaded with like vegetables and all that and there's like cheese on it. So the meat taste isn't too slow powering. As chicken, chicken is less low powering than pork or lamb or beef in general. There's a lot of cheese like melting everywhere though. And I do like to give myself some cheese so yeah, it's not bad. <laughs> 